I'm Enix Sears, and this is Architect Business Secrets. This is the business of architecture. So what is Architect Business Secrets? Every day, every morning, I go for a morning walk, and I share with you one tip, strategy, or tactic for running in a more profitable and impactful architecture practice. Today I want to tell you a story that comes from the book Influence by Robert Cialdini because we're going to talk about why giving away your time for free is absolutely killing your business. So in, in the book Influence he talks about a friend of his who owned a store that sold Native American jewelry, little turquoise pieces of jewelry. And even though it was the height of the tourist season, she was having dif difficulty selling these particular jewelry pieces. So before she went on a weekend trip, she scrawled a note on a piece of paper that said times half price and put it next to the jewelry. When she came back, she wasn't surprised to discover that her employee said that all the jewelry pieces is sold. But what she was surprised by was that they had actually sold for double their normal price because the employee had mistakenly thought that the note said times two as opposed to times one half. So of course the store owner was wondering what's going on here. And in his book, Cialdini describes that there are certain triggers, psychological triggers, that cause people to perceive things about, in this case, value, right? So what happened here? What happens is that when people saw that those were double price, they automatically assumed that if they cost more, they must be worth more. Okay, and this is key when we think about giving away our time as architects in free consultations. All right, another quick story. Carlo, who's a member of our Million Dollar Mastermind Coaching Group, uh, left me a message the other day talking about a referral client that he had that he was working with. Now, they haven't started their project yet. He said he's already had two meetings with them, and he usually doesn't charge for his initial consultation. And he said that when he, he went to those two meetings, uh, they went fine, and now the client's calling him up and wants to have a third meeting, this time because, I don't know, the grandparent or the cousin's gonna come or something. He's like, Enoch, what do I do? You know, it's, it's kind of awkward because I'm spending a lot of time on this. I haven't even won the project yet. And I said, look, Carlo, once, you, once you've already gone down that road of starting to give away your time for free, it's very difficult to reset the expectation. Okay, so of course what I'm talking about here is the standard practice that we as architects go through where we offer, you know, hey, you have a project, well let's get together and let's talk about it and I'm not going to charge you a dime, you're going to come to my office, uh, you're going to pick my brain or I'm going to go to your house, I'm going to spend lots of time driving around town and have nothing to show for it. Now I don't know about you, but when I go visit my lawyer, my attorney or my accountant, they don't even ask me or tell me that I'm going to be charged they just send me a bill in the mail, okay? So here, I'm gonna give you three reasons why not charging is killing your business, okay? Reason number one, reason number one is that you'll earn less money. That's pretty straightforward, right? If you're not charging for your time and you're spending a couple of hours or maybe even more, maybe a complete day every month, driving around town to meet people and not charging, whether it's site visits, whether it's consultations, frankly, you're giving that time away for free. Even if some of those eventually you make it up through charging later, right, or winning the project. Okay, so that's number one, you'll earn less money. Number two, and this is probably more important, is that you're spending time with people who aren't necessarily qualified to work with, right? They might be people who are just looking for the cheapest architect in town. They might be people that don't even have a project that's ready to go yet. So that's very important. You need to qualify people and make sure that they're ready, willing, motivated to work with you. All right, That's reason number two is that you're going to spend a lot of time working with people who probably aren't a great fit. The third, and to me I think this is the biggest reason, is that people will not value your time. Look, if you don't value your time, no one else will. There's a great quote by Roman philosopher, a Stoic philosopher, his name was Seneca. He said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. So think about that. It's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. All right. What you'll find is that when you charge for your time, when you're very upfront with people and saying, you know what, I'd love to come over and I'd love to give you ideas and have a look at your project and what's going on, uh, you know, 
uh, that'll be $250. Or perhaps you don't even tell them, maybe you just come over and do it. I would suggest you probably tell them if you're gonna charge them. Look, yeah, a standard consultation, you know, my, my hourly rate is uh, $350 an hour. I'm happy to do that. I have time on Wednesday and Thursday next week. Which day suits you better? Right, be very upfront about it. What you'll find is that people perceive charging with quality. They'll say, oh my goodness, this architect charges, he might be good. As a matter of fact, watch this short video clip from Daryl McKenzie down in New Zealand who experienced this exact thing. For the last 20 years I've been a struggling single person practice. Always had lots of clients, never made any money. They all give me a load of grief and not pay me very much. So I joined Architects Marketing Group less than a year ago with an attempt to do something about it. But my aim was to thin out my clients. So I've adopted two strategies. Firstly, charge to go and see someone. That'll thin them out. So right, pay me $750 before I come and I, before I come out and I will come and see you. That will surely mean people will stop wanting me to come out and see them. No, it just meant that they started paying me. And they started saying things like, wow, you can charge to come and see us. You must be good. All right, that's pretty cool, huh? One thing that I think is really powerful about actually valuing your time, charging for it, is that you set the expectations for the rest of the project, right? And as we saw in Daryl's McKenzie example, what happens is that the kind of clients you probably want to work with who are the clients who don't, uh, don't complain a lot, who just are willing to pay money to get things done, those are the people who are really fun to work with because they're not nickel and diming, right? Well, those are the people who are attracted to an architect who values his or her time, right? So here's the benefits. Look, start charging for your time. There's a secret to doing this correctly uh, and getting people to pay happily, and I'll share that in another video. But for today, just remember, if you charge for your time, you'll make more money. You'll be able to work with qualified people. People will value your time, and because of that, your projects will run smoother. Now, if you like this video and you want more tips to grow your practice, attract better clients, and make a huger impact, go to freemarketinggift.com. I have a special marketing gift that I want to send you. Now, get out there and conquer the world.